the video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, create some a sort of blobby gradient using the deform tool. Now, just got this gradient here, which I've just reduced down. It's just a gradient layer created via the layer and new fill layer. And what you can do, obviously, any gradient can be used. Just going to quickly go to a layer and merge visible. So what happens? It becomes a pixel layer, and then you can use the filter and then distort and deform. Now, what I want to do is actually create pins all around the edge. So I'm just going to quickly create very loosely. I mean, it's not going to be so you could vary this in numerous ways. But I'm just going to create it all the way around the edge. These are just pins that sort of freeze. And I'm just going to create a, an inner ring, maybe a bit wider gaps between them. I don't know what the limits are on the number of pins. I'm certain there is a limit somewhere. At some point, we'll turn around and say, nope, no more pins. But I haven't noticed that yet. Anyway, right, so you've got that point. You've got all the pins around this gradient. Now what you can do is just quickly add some pin, and you can just quickly pull that out. Just drag that out, just go to that point. You can see, obviously, red there. When you drag around there, it's got a little bit of purple in there. Drag from there. You can drag it out and drag that out. And of course, don't, if you don't go so far, you actually can see it's still connected, so it's sort of dragged out. And then you can go maybe a little bit more in the center, drag out again, drag out around the edge. And then you can actually, if you go very close to the edge, you can actually pull it out and you actually get a sort of break from that design. So it's obviously up to you what you want to do. And You've got the blob, and you can also go right in the center so you can pull out a lot more. So you can sort of wave it around, you don't have to have it all in sort of so you can really create some sort of abstract, sort of blobby, sort of uh, alien looking designs just from a single gradient. Okay, so there's that design. So they're a quick, blobby, sort of created design. Now, of course. The underlying gradient is still there, so you can actually, of course, go to there and modify that as well. And obviously, I'm not going to change that, but uh, apply, and there you've got it. Now, let's say you can go back to that one, maybe convert that again to a pixel, and maybe create a different sort of blobby design underneath that. There's numerous possibilities, and of course, once you've actually got this design, you can actually just quickly. I'm just going to go to the correct pixel layer there and you can go repeat deform and sometimes can be quite interesting results as well so just create another sort of blob so you can actually see that you can actually spread it out even further repeat deform and so on and so on and you can see the blobs going out hope you found this tutorial of interest thank you very much